28 members of the 144 Security Forces Squadron traveled deep into the Mojave Desert to Camp Corum on Edwards Air Force Base to take part in their annual field training exercises. We have a lot of training requirements levied upon of us. Uh, one of the most important ones is our air base ground defense training and in order to do that properly you really have to go in an environment where you can run and gun, use blanks, use ground burst simulators, use gas, things of that nature and this is a perfect location for that. The, the good thing about being in an area like this is, is we have a real robust professional op four that like to play it up really well and they were able to game it a little bit and give these guys some good training, some good intel experience on how to recognize different things we deal with foreign, foreign nationals and really this is what builds the camaraderie is getting out here patrolling with your team working with your team knowing what your teammates going to do so this has done nothing but just increase um, people's knowledge of the other guy's ability increase morale increase cohesiveness as a unit the security forces personnel out here are doing everything from combat patrols outside the wire to static defense inside the base a typical security forces squad carries m4s m203s m249s and m240s and each weapon has a specific role in active defense for the airbase. Inside the base we have uh, land mobile radios and we also have field phones which are dedicated to each uh, static post. And the field phones are a secure or somewhat secure form of communication for us to talk directly with our leadership. We practice in the daylight first because it's easier to start from a crawl, walk, run approach. And doing night ops is relatively difficult and it's extremely difficult to attempt to teach and practice and then put that into play in the evening time. So what we're doing is a little bit of training during the daytime, some rehearsals and dry runs, so that during the night hours the team tactics are solid and they'll be able to execute flawlessly during the evening time. Last night when we actually got to the village where we were supposed to do our rescue mission, we took a lot of gas, we took a lot of fire, and we didn't lose anyone and we rescued the people we were supposed to rescue. We all know the same tactics, but you learn how to read each other without even talking. We came together as a team and we got out there. And once that happened, it's very rewarding. You put in a lot of hard work to be able to come out of success is the biggest reward. Just all of this hard work felt like it was for something. For the 144th Fighter Wing, this is Master Sergeant David Leffler.